In this Nebosh topic, uh, IGC uh, 1, element 1, I'm going to continue with the topic, safe movement of people in a workplace. We're talking about safe movement of people in a workplace. We are going to discuss about hazard in a workplace. Hazard in a workplace can either be like a sleep trips and fall on the same level. What is sleep? Sleep is an hazard, smooth surface, where the surface is smooth and this surface can either like polish or wet, it can be wet, but because of this contaminated surface, where it's flat or leaves is there or right, so it can lead to someone to fall down. What is trip? Trip is an hazard also, it's referred to as an hazard, is an uneven or lossing floor right lossing floor like a uh, floor that is not complete maybe the the, the, the interlock is not complete or let's say a socket breaker it strips it depends on the context right so that one can lead to trip right then also we're talking about fall a fall also fall to the floor on the same level right someone can fall right it can either have a, a twist a twist the arm or or the the, the 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 leg right then also we're talking about fall from the height when we're talking about fall from the height um walking next to an unprotected edge like when you are walking to an uh, unprotected edge like a a, a a scaffolder right like these ions they put to build a buildings right so you're walking towards the edge without using the ppe personal protective um, equipment or having the there is a, something like a slink a rope you need to attach to yourself and also to the iron in case you fell down how that iron can uh, you, you cannot reach on the floor right so we're talking about by, by an exact uh, excavations or a fragile uh, materials above and drop right using an access equipment or ladders or standing on an object like a chairs or high level of something you know sometimes people use chairs and other things to stand on it to do some certain work so that one can also lead to fall so but we are looking at the preventive right for you not to fall what you should do in using leather right when you are using leather somewhere at least someone should hold the leather and when you are climbing you have the step watch your step and uh, where you should step till you climb the ladders so those are the, the safety precaution that you should use we're talking about collisions collision with movement of vehicle right Coll collision of uh, with uh, with movement of vehicle when using a pedestal pedestal walkway that is where people are using the footpath right that is called pedestal uh, walkway or crossing points right crossing points or when walking and adjacent to move uh, move a vehicle in a, from the roads or loading bay right so like it should you call like to prevent accidents right so uh, instead of human being to be collide with a uh, vehicle they have to make a separate way where a human being will use this way and a vehicle should use this way right then we're talking about uh striking by moving flying or falling objects what they mean by striking here right moving objects automatically like machinery stop welding robots or on secure objects then flying objects you have to uh, um, eject the parts right uh swaft for mental drilling thrown objects like scarfing like scarf scarfs are like these uh, machine uh, ions they use to for building so how they can couple up this machine by not uh, inj injured someone right by not injured someone they were talking about um striking against we're talking about falling objects that is falling objects simply mean by loading falling uh, falling during the lift lifting and handling or, or operations objects uh, dialogue doing working work at and height slants from the roof or due to adverse weather or condition they are the skull fooder the the, the scaffold uh, board is in a gallon dropping of an unstable object 
properly so this simply means that uh, falling from an object let's say like this um, um, ions they use for building like when they are doing construction so whenever they are, they, they, there is a weather condition they should always check this um, uh, um, scuff fuller if they are still strong or good right because sometimes because of weather the wind someone can fall from that uh, scuff fuller right so we're talking about another topic talk about uh, striking against fixed and statutory objects right and statutory uh, uh, objects right so in this uh, topic right objects that uh, project into a pedestal areas or a root material sheets projecting into a walkway narrow doorway low overhead right then those hazard can also cause serious or fatal injury they can also occur while person is involving in maintenance activities because maintenance engineers often work in a location and a situation as a result of a fault or a problem so this simply means that most of this like this score folder um like these engineers uh painters it depends they are prone or exposed of or uh, to this kind of danger like falling right so they should take some certain thing into consideration how they are doing their painting how they are doing their engineering work and also some of them the weather also affects this this situation affects these circumstances right maybe you are doing your construction work you are painting some house or you are doing a uh, lane or block because of the wind is uh, high or because of sandstorm that period can also be affected or can lead to um, trip and fall also then we're talking about uh, control measures control measure for safety movement of people in a workplace so when we're talking about control measure for the for the safety of movement of people in a workplace we're talking about one a risk assessment we uh, we need to do a risk assessment risk assessment is identify the hazard facing by the pedestrian pedestal mean the people or the contractors and most must consider the natural movement pattern in and around the workplace the impact of the weather condition and the maintenance process as well as the need of a particular group of a people right this simply means that the risk assessment that we need to do uh, these are control measures like you have to look at the weather co conditions right you have to which people are using this particular area this particular office right so they have to, to look at the weather condition then we're talking about um, floor surface right so floor surface also and the walkway should also be be well built and maintained to cop to copy with traffic levels and should have an appropriate level of slide resistance there there should be adequate drainage and spillage should be Im uh, immediately clean to guard against a slip and a walkway and a steer should be kept as clean as mud as snow as possible use the gift this simply means that this surface in every facility or area should always be clean then they should always put protection protection means that where people can use if there is an edge they should put protection there at least someone can hold it when it's going down or when it's going up or when it's using that particular place right so whenever there is a water on the floor or the ground is rough it's rough they should always try to polish that ground instead for it not to cause tripping then also if there is a water in the floor the cleaner should, or housekeeping should always try to clean it for it not to cause sleep right so we're looking also on the other one there should be uh the the, the control measures there should be there should be sufficient well defined traffic routes and the de and des designated uh, walkway uh, of adequate uh, adequate width and head headroom to allow people to circulate safely and easily right those should be clear of obstruction and may be designed by guide guide rail 
you know cramped and we we pavement or floor making right so they should also make a design where it can protect people if uh, any area they have to condom the area put um like uh, barricade and some other things that can protect people then also there should be a sufficient well-defined traffic route okay then also we're talking about fencing and guiding it should also be provide on open uh, walkway and a, a protection from move moving vehicle edge protection to pro to prevent fall and to prevent access and hazard so this simply means that it should protect they should uh, uh, create like a fence or, or a fence or a guide a guiding guide mean like a iron wearing people are not supposed to use this way use the call like a direction right like like also for a vehicle which we block a vehicle from uh, having access to the pedestal pedestal simply mean the people to have people to have access to people way so the vehicle we have to use their own way wise people uh, people are using their own way so these are all, all uh, control measures right then we're talking about also uh, clean visible and understood sign and warning make or light should make a pedestal aware of the unfamiliar situation and hazard so we're talking about this uh, clear uh, visible and understand design these are talking about signs and symbols that in every workplace or, or, or facility or community there should be direction of signs and symbol these signs represent this one okay the floor is wet okay this uh, this is pedestal way this is where uh, people should walk this so those are the signs we are talking because it's visible people can see it and even people who don't speak or maybe deaf and dumb they can understand that these are signs and symbols which can guide the footstep of people right so these are all control measures in every workplace or facility or governmental areas then we're talking about personal protective equipment what is personal protective equipment in control control uh, measures short as hard hats and, and anti-slip uh, footwear and high vis visibility cloth may also be necessary. So let's say, for instance, there are certain place or certain areas or office where people are supposed to use their PPE, that is personal protective uh, equipment. So in that particular area, maybe the weather is very harsh in that place or like say in a machine place or, it, or a place that needs so many safety right your 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 hand your body can expose to danger so in other way around you have to use all those personal protective gears so these are control measures that uh, every employer in certain offices it depends on what items or what office uh, they are dealing with that you can use that one to put a protective uh, measures right then we're talking about uh, information and instruction of training, right? And supervision should also help ensure that the correct procedures are adhering to and that people do not act in their irresponsible manner. So this simply means that people should follow the information, right? Because in every facility or every community, community they have their rules and regulation, right? So so every staff should follow that, or every staff or people should follow their guidelines or, or, or information about that place. If you know that this facility or this place that I should go, I should put on, I should have ID card, I should have this document, I should uh, follow these rules then you should follow all those rules right then also we're talking about maintenance also maintenance of safe workplace will include right then when maintenance are working they should clean and housekeeping to remove waste and debris and trip hazard also to keep the floor and walkway clean and free from contamination so when maintenance they are working they should always make sure that where they are working should always be clean uh, if they remove any items they should not put it abruptly just like that there should be a control measures wherein for them also they will not maybe come and step on one equipment they remove you know that uh, that equipment will maybe at the end of the day damage you understand or also can lead to accident also then also keep uh, the passageway and corridor clean between working areas 
right external working area and to ensure the safety of access and and grace then maintain adequate working environment condition that's comfortable and heat level adequate light and low noise right so like in terms of those ac when maintenance are working they should always try to be in a very uh temperature little bit of normal temperature areas right then we're talking about uh, a, a inspection also in maintenance, inspection and repair of guard rail, rails and fence are necessary. So maintenance, they should always try to, in this uh, workplace, they should always try to repair this fence and, uh, and guards that they use, these irons that they use uh, to guard a footpath you know maybe it's lost or maybe it's damaged maybe someone owns it and it can triple or you know so there are a lot of uh um incident that we have to prevent from not occurring you know so the frequent of uh, cleaning and inspection and the, the the time scale for repairing will be depends on the nature of the workplace right as we discussed earlier, many type of incidents can occur whilst a, whilst a person is involved in maintenance activity. So it is important that risk assessment is, is thoroughly engaged to cover all the eventuality and, and uh, measure and control measures are sufficient to reduce the risks as low as possible. Then another point we are talking about is uh, the, the, the working at a high height. Working at a high height means that you are working in this uh, scaffold uh, or these big leathers like you are painting. When you are working in a high height, you have to be careful. So I'm going to measure example of working in a high height. Typical work activity at a height include like roof construction, demol uh, demolitions and maintenance, then uh, erecting and the dismantling of scaffold folding, then windows construction, then cleaning, then any any uh, inspection or maintenance work like weathering pipe work which may also be done above the ground level right so this simply means that uh working in certain heights like construction like when you are making a roof erecting uh some certain like uh, when you want to demolish the irons that you use to paint or other things so these are the preventive measures right so the main risks that associated with working at an height are when we are looking at the risks what are the risks when you are working at uh, at an high height one says the worker fall from the height and fall from the height can result in death your neck can blow broke your spinal cord injury lead to permanent paralysis and multiple of breaking bones right then also an object fall onto a person below falling objects also can also cause several injuries that may result in death brain damage paralysis and multiple broken of bones working at an height can also cause a high proportion of fatal than any other type of construction work so all this topic talking about working in a high height what are the control measures what are the the, 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 the impacts in case of accidents occur so if you if you are working in a high height if you fall down you can either broke your your bone your necks your spinal cord it can lead to permanent uh, paralysis so all these safety precautions are things that we should take into con consideration to stop people or the preventive measure to take when you are working on an eye height when you are working in an eye height what are the, pre the precaution the measurement that you're supposed to take so these are what we are going to discuss but we are just have a light that the example when you are working in eye 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 height what are the dangers that can occur if you don't use these preventive measures so we're talking about the basic hazard, uh, hazard of working at a high height what are the hazards right did you say the vertical distance involved so let's say if you are working in a high distance right you are prone to hazard anything can happen because if you are in high place you look down maybe your eyes can turn maybe weather can affect you then also number two say fragile roof 
and roof lights are void you understand so if the, the the roof also is fragile let's say very soft roof the uh, the, the, the the pan the zinc that is there is not strong so you are also exposed to danger then he's talking about uh, deteriorating or unsound materials may collapse under the person weights right so then also and uh, unprotected edge on access uh, platform right or the, the scaffold right so like every edge of the scaffold like this iron they use for construction they will put it around of the building so most of the edge you have to put barrier you have to put something that will protect you in case of maybe you you take one step behind anything can happen right then we're talking about also the 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 the, the um unstable access equipment short as ladders and lift and hoist right so if you have a le leather right a leather that you are using you have to make sure that this leather be strong and firm right then we're talking about weather and here uh, flow may also cause material and people to blown off a roof or a, sca a scaffold right so also um uh, the hazard also if you are working in high roof because of weather conditions there may be there is a sandstorm also that one can also endanger people life so you have to look at the weather condition also then we're talking about losing of building materials that is tiles bricks and timber and the waste material may fall from the heights because they have been properly uh, stored or, 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 or put because the structure are scumble so this simply means that sometimes the because of the length of period up the roof or the ceiling some certain uh, uh, nails they put or certain uh, material they put there they fix the attach might also fall on someone that also can lead to accidents right we're talking about another topic talk about preventing falls and preventing fall and falling material when you're talking about preventive uh, fall and falling material we have to highlight that the risks associated with working heights can also be managed using a simple uh, hierarchy right so in working this height the prevention also you have to avoid working at an height then if if working at an height can be avoided then prevents falls right if fall cannot be prevented then minimize the distance and consequence of fall when applying the hierarchy collective protection measures measures should also be performed preferred over the personal protection so these are the things that you should follow to prevent when you are working in the heights or you avoid working in a high heights uh, uh, location right then the following measure should also be taken where there is an where there is an risk of people or material right like the brick timbers you have to take those consideration into consideration when you are working in the heights like you are, you are in the roof right you have to look at for those things maybe those things can fall on you right then also you have to ensure adequate planning and supervision of the work to be carried out they have to supervise right supervision is more important also to prevent accidents then avoid adverse weather conditions short as highs and rain and water so if you are working outside in a building right then there is a, a high weather the weather condition you have to prevent and look out for those ice and other things or rains you which can affect and lead to trip and sleep right then also we're talking about providing physical and safe guide to to prevent fall short as to um to board like the the the, the scuff folder scaffold means this iron that they are using for building construction you have to lay uh, laid on the edge a right angle to to the work platform like a guard guide rail guide rail means like iron or fence to protect you then constructing a means of access and a working platform of a sound and a stable material to, to support the weight of the people and the equipment. They have to provide properly construction working platform using the, the candle, right? And suspend 
the walking platform we are required right if you know that everybody is tired you have to stop the work then using a uh, suspension equipment like a uh, boat strain cheers if working with a, a short term or an erection of the walking platform is not uh, practicable then use falling fall arrest uh, harness particularly when open an edge have to approach during the steel erection then full training must be given to operate operator of short equipment right then we're looking at ensure you have to ensure an arrangement are in place to deal with emergency rescue if required right so this means that emergency if any so any person fall down or anything somebody cuts his uh, wound or anything that happens you have a emergency response team that will take the person at that particular moment right then also ensure the head protection is worn to protect from falling objects on material so this simply means that you have to the people that are working in the height they have to put their elements their their their, their safety elements on so maybe something might fall on their head anything can happen so with that thing on your head it can prevent, um, uh, prevent damage of the head right then we, we're looking at another topic uh talking about working practice right i will talk on that uh safe working practice for access equipment i will explain on that